By the end of this video, you're gonna have your first viral video on TikTok. That is, if you watch this video all the way through to the end and make sure you implement everything I'm gonna be sharing with you. Because these are the same exact tips that this creator used to get a million views on TikTok. This creator, 100 million views. This creator, 40 million views. This creator, over 20 million views. And so many other creators have used these same exact tips that I'm gonna share with you to get millions of views on TikTok. First and foremost, if you wanna go viral on TikTok, the most important thing that you guys need to be paying attention to right now with this current TikTok algorithm update and how to go viral on TikTok is going to be the topic of your video. If you do not choose the right topic, it can literally be the difference between you getting 100K views, a million views, or 100 million views. If you do not choose the right topic on TikTok, there's almost 0% chance that you actually get a video that gets over 100 million views. So you're probably wondering, Rob, but how do I know whether or not a topic is actually good on TikTok? Very simple. All you have to do is type in that topic on TikTok, and then you're going to go to the top right-hand corner. You're going to filter by most liked and for this month. If those videos don't have at least 100,000 likes on them, this probably isn't a good topic if you're trying to go viral. Why? Because on average, videos get about 10% likes as the amount of views that they have. So if a video has 100,000 likes, that means it's got at least a million views on it on average. That being said, if you are trying to go viral, super viral, you wanna make sure that those videos, the top four videos that have been made in the last month for whatever topic you're about to post about have at least 500,000 likes. If they do not have that many likes, you're probably not gonna to wanna to post about that topic. Now, this is gonna be completely different depending on what niche you're posting in. If you're doing dance or doing something that's very broad on TikTok, there are gonna be a lot more people that are interested in that content and it's more likely that you actually have a video get 100 million views. If you're creating dentist content or how to do real estate or something along the lines of that, the odds of you actually getting a video that have 100 million views, they're very slim to none. I'm going to be totally honest with you. You'd be way better off actually making a really good video about that topic and getting 100,000 views or a million views, or maybe if you're really lucky, 5 million views. And that is going to be a way better use of your time because let's face it, if you're posting about dentists or orthodontists or even business tips in most cases, there aren't 100 million people that are interested in that. Getting a video with 100 million views is going to be an entertaining post. It's going to be a prank. It's going to be something that is super viral. It's probably not going to be business tips or something along the lines of that. Next up, you need to make sure that your post use the right sound, is the right length, was posted at the right time, and use the right hashtags. And I know that's a lot, so let's go through those things one by one, and then at the end, I'm going to share with you guys a secret that is making so many creators go viral on TikTok right now. So for the sound and length that you choose, you should go back to step one, go under those videos that you saw, the videos that already went viral under the topic that you created. You want to take out a sticky note, you could use your notes on your phone, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you wanna make sure that you write down, one, the sound that those individuals used, two, how long their actual video was. If you go and look at the top four videos and three of them were nine seconds long and then one of them was two minutes long, why do you think that doing a two minute video or a 40 second video or even a 30 or 20 second video is going to be what makes you go viral? Let's do some math here. Obviously, the high probability of you going viral is going to be by creating a nine second video because the majority of the posts that went viral for that exact topic were nine seconds long. And if you see them all using the same sound over and over again, then what does that tell you? One, you need to use that sound in your videos. Two, you need to make sure the video is that length if it's about the same topic. This is incredibly important and honestly, one of the biggest mistakes that I see creators make. You guys need to realize something. Growing on TikTok, getting views on TikTok, going viral on TikTok, it is 100% about being on trend on TikTok. Now, the trends take into consideration the sound that you use, the hashtags that you use, the time that your video was posted, the actual topic of the video, and the length of the video. One of the most important factors that so many creators ignore is the length of the video. And trust me, you can do everything right on a post. Post at the right time. Have it be about the right topic. And if the video is just two seconds too long, it could be the difference between you getting 100K views or 100 million views. Okay, so before I tell you the best time to post on TikTok right now and what hashtags you need to be using if you want to go viral, and trust me, these things have changed, so you're going to want to stick around for them, please make sure you smash that subscribe button so you never miss another episode that I drop. I make videos about the TikTok algorithm, so many other things that you do not want to miss, so please smash that subscribe button. Right now, in general, the best times to post on TikTok are gonna be from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., from 1 to 3 p.m., from 5 to 7 p.m., and then again, from 8 to 11 p.m. Now, if you wanna go viral on TikTok, odds are you're gonna to wanna to get out your best posts in either the morning slot or the p.m. slot, the 8 to 11 slot. Those are going to be the best time slots if you wanna go viral on TikTok. The only difference that you should take into consideration are two things. One, how old your audience is, right? So people that are younger, people that are older, they might be on at a different time. And then secondly, whether or not somebody is going to be ready to consume that information. Let me give you an example. You don't want to put out a video that's very, very information based at 11 p.m. Why? Because nobody's going to be in the mindset to then watch that. If you're scrolling on your phone at 11 p.m., odds are you just want mindless entertainment. You're not actually looking for something that's going to be super informative. 
And I do want to emphasize, if I look at 100 viral posts in a day, at least 70% of those posts are posted in that 8 to 11 p.m. time slot. That is by far the best time slot for going viral on TikTok. Now, now, I'm not saying that's the only time slot you should be posting in, but if you want to go viral, that is when you should be putting out your best content. When it comes to hashtags, you guys need to be implementing four strategies and four strategies only. The first one, four broad hashtags. The second one, four niche specific hashtags. The third, three niche specific hashtags, one broad hashtag. And then finally, you need to be implementing three broad hashtags, one niche specific hashtag. And please make sure that you guys are not using irrelevant hashtags in your post. I see way too many creators use too many hashtags, use no hashtags at all, or use irrelevant hashtags for the actual post and it is killing their reach. Now at this point in the video, you've chosen the right topic, you posted at the right time, you use the right hashtags, but what are you missing? I'm glad you asked. Because the last part is by far the most simple, but so many creators get hung up on this, they don't do a good job, and honestly, it's the reason that they don't go viral, and it's because they didn't choose the right hook in their video, and their call to action was not good enough for the video. You see, you could do everything right on a video. But if you don't have a strong call to action and you don't have a strong hook, nobody's gonna stick around and watch the video and then nobody's gonna take action on that video and push it even further in the TikTok algorithm. Because trust me, you don't wanna be that creator that gets a million views on a video and only gains a thousand followers from it. I see it happen every single day and honestly, it's one of the most cringe things that I see doing what I do for work because you guys need to make sure that when a video goes viral or just even your average videos, you need to be getting at least 10% of people that are liking that video to then follow you after that video. And the easiest way to do this is to add a call to action that is very similar to whatever the post was about. For example, if you're doing a prank post with your girlfriend or a prank post with your mom or a prank post with anybody, of just a friend, you want to make sure that you end that video with click the plus sign to see their reaction or click the plus sign to see how they got me back. Why? Because naturally somebody that sat there and watched a prank video is going to want to see the next part and see how they respond to you. Or if you're doing something that's very informative, for example, you're teaching people how to get six pack abs. Somebody that's watching content about how to get six pack abs, what do they want? They want six pack abs. So get them to click the plus sign to make sure that they get six pack abs because that's gonna be aspirational to whatever that piece of content was and it's gonna allow them to lock that in and so many people are gonna do that call to action. They're gonna get more followers on your content than you could have ever imagined. But before you can even get to adding the call to action in the last three seconds of the video, you need to be focused on the hook, which is the first three seconds of the video. And this can be done a couple different ways. One, the camera angle that you're choosing to do in your videos. For example, if you start at your feet and go all the way up in a mirror, that's gonna hook somebody in. Now you have three to four seconds of them actually watching that video. If it's a nine second video, you don't really have to do that much else in the video besides just deliver on whatever the hook was. In addition to that, you can do this by screaming things. You can do this by turning around and not having you facing the camera in the beginning. Or you could do this with text on the screen that makes somebody curious as to what is going to happen or you can tell them what's going to be coming next. A couple mistakes that I see so many people make when it comes to their hooks is they just completely ignore the hook or they make a hook that kind of just gives away what's going to happen. For example, if it's something like watch me scare my mom, they already know that you're going to scare your mom. Unless there's a really good camera angle or something else that's hooking them in, you need to make sure that you're doing those things. Otherwise, they're just going to swipe off because they don't need to watch the video. Now, if you wanna make going on viral almost foolproof and incredibly easy, you need to consider getting into my mentorship program where I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you go viral and guarantee that you grow on TikTok. If that sounds interesting, keep watching this video. And to cap this video off, please remember, if you don't have at least 100 followers for every 1,000 likes that you have on TikTok, you are doing something terribly wrong and we need to talk. You literally should have 100 followers for every 1,000 likes that you have. If that's not your ratio, you need to talk to me because I'm telling you, you're leaving a ton of followers on the table right now. And in the future, when TikTok's incredibly monetizable and followers really matter on TikTok, well then guess what? You're missing out on dollars. You're missing out on dollars that you could have, your family could have. You guys need to make sure that you're taking advantage of this golden opportunity on TikTok right now now because there's more reach than we have ever seen on any other social media platform and you need to make sure you're incentivizing engagement at the end of your videos to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. All that being said, if you want guaranteed growth on TikTok, then you need to get into my mentorship program at the link in the description. To put it simply, I'm literally going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you grow on TikTok in your niche. It doesn't matter what your background is, whether or not you speak English, what country you're in, or even if you think your niche is really hard to grow in, I guarantee that I can help you grow. The lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gotten from the mentorship program was 6,500 followers. And on average, in September, people gained over 70,000 followers in the 30 days during the mentorship program. Now, 
you heard me. I said on average. What does that mean? That means over 50% of those people literally gained more than 70,000 followers in just a 30 day period. Now, since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you think you're above average, right? You probably are. So you'll gain more followers than that if you get into the mentorship program. So please, you guys need to invest in yourself. You need to stop being a cynic. If you thought that TikTok was going away, TikTok is not going anywhere. It's been two years since all that stuff happened and you're still not taking TikTok seriously. So now's the time to get over that, invest in TikTok, invest in your future self, get the followers you want, get the views that you want and get into my mentorship program. If you're not interested in that, watch the two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.